Hello everyone and welcome back to our Kung Fu class where we've been learning these square basics. So today is a very special day. So today we're going to be learning our final square basic which is square basic number nine. Um, so I hope you guys have been following and today we're going to be finishing off our square basics. This class is going to be split into two parts. So in the first part I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do the movements step by step and the following week we're then going to be moving it around. It gives you a week for you guys to, to really practice the movement. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin our warm up. So let's bring our hands together like this and we're going to circle our foot and our wrist at the same time. So before you do the class, I really recommend that you warm up properly. Make sure you do some sit-ups, some press-ups, maybe some running, something to make your body nice and warm before you start. This way it kind of prevents injury. Okay, change the other side. So this one that we're, the warm-up we're doing at the moment is more for like your joints, yeah, like joints warm up. Okay, and then just stretch up. Good, and then down to the floor. Try to keep your back straight, try to keep your arms straight and your legs straight as well at the same time. Okay, and then your hands touch your feet. And then your hands touch your feet on the other, keep your fingers linked, and then your hands touch your feet on the other side. Okay, and then back to the centre. Okay, very good. Okay, so from here we're going to swing our arms forward. Then relax your shoulder joint. Okay, and backwards. Okay, very good. And now your hips. So just put your hands on your waist and you're going to circle your hip around. So try to make big circles with your hip. So in this square basic today, you're going to be doing a lot of leg work. So make sure that your legs are really warmed up nice and stretched as well. Okay, and then change the other side. Okay, very good. Uh, place your feet together and then bend your knees, put your hands on your knees and circle your knees around. Okay, good, now change direction. Okay, very good. So from here, we're just going to stretch our legs out a little bit further. So I want you to go into a gumbu stance. So gumbu is like a, a high bridge stance. So from here, you're going to bend your front knee 90 degree like this. Yeah, so when you do this um, position, try not to go over your knee like this. Yeah, your front knee. Uh, don't go over your ankle. So it needs to be in line. Yeah, and then your back leg, if you want to widen your stance, so then you just need to push your back leg out, okay? And then from here, you're gonna push your hip down. So we're gonna push down for five times. Okay, ready? And one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I change the other side. So just make sure that this is like 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here, back leg completely straight. Okay, I'm gonna push your hip down. Okay, here we go. So one, two, three, four, Five. Okay, let's change again. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. And other side. Go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, very good. So now what we need to do is because what we need to do is we have to stretch the back of our leg because the movement we're going to do requires us to flick our leg out in front of us. So we need to make sure that this tendon, the back of your leg, is really nice and stretched out. So I just want you to sit down on the floor. Okay, and I want you to open your legs, like this, open your legs wide. Okay, so for, for you guys out there, if you can open your legs really wide, then that's really great. So just go as far as you can, you can go, and then you're just gonna scoot your body forward like this. Okay, and then you're gonna reach out forward, get your hands forward, and then you're gonna breathe in, and you're gonna breathe out. And then hold it there. And this one, you should really feel a stretch all along the back of your leg. Especially if you've been doing a lot of running, this, uh, this um, muscle on the back of your leg can get very tight. So you need to keep stretching. Make sure that you're lengthening your muscles out after you've trained. Okay, so again, breathe in. 
and breathe out, push forward, hold it, and again, breathe in, and breathe out again, try and put your forehead on the floor if you can, okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one, Ooh, I can really feel that in the back of my neck, so. Okay, and then reach over to your feet. Okay, good. Okay, and then reach over to the other foot. So don't worry, if you can't grab your feet, if you can't reach that far, that's okay. So you can just bring your hands here, or sometimes you can get um, like a towel, and you can hook your towel or hook a rope over your foot, and then you can just pull your body down towards your leg. This is if you can't reach your toe yet. Don't worry if you can't read, it's no problem. It just takes a little bit of time. So just keep practicing and you'll get there. Okay, very good. Okay, now bring your feet together and then just stand up. Okay, good, relax your legs. So I'm gonna break this um, basic down into a few parts. I'm gonna show you what the basic looks like um, from a few directions. Um, and then I'm going to break it down um, step by step and I'll show you each foundation movement bit by bit. Okay, so this movement uh, looks like this. So you will finish in your last square basic, which is here. And for this movement, uh, it looks like this. So. Okay. So this movement consists of a few movements put together. So the first movement we've got is called um, a zatran. Yes, this kind of round movement like this, a punch up into the air, and then your feet together and squatting down and hitting your back fist. This is the first movement. So let's break it down first. Let's teach you that first basic, and then we're gonna teach you the kicking part of it next. Okay, so for this movement, um, I want you to just put your left hand out in front of you like this, okay, and your other hand into a fist, and I want you to punch your fist up into the air, and then I want you to bring it down on the back of your, the back of your hand on the flat of your palm, yeah, so your left palm out like this, yeah, and your other hand like this, so you're going to punch up to the sky, and then you're going to place the back hand onto your palm, yeah, so you're going to go one, two, okay, and then again, on your hand on your waist, go up, one, two, okay, one more time, so hand on your waist here, you're going to go punch up, have back fist on your palm, okay, so this part, this part here is called a zatran, it's like a back fist, yeah, back fist um, hitting action, so the bit before that, you're going to be circling your arms, so what I want you to do is you're just going to put your hands like this at the side of your body and your foot in a dingbu position. And then with your left hand, you're going to circle your hand all the way around and then back to your side. Yeah, so your hand is in the jump position. So again, from here, we're stamping our right foot and we're pointing our left. Yeah, this is called a dianbu. Yeah, so again, from here, stamp and then bring your, your fist to the side of your body. Then your left hand is going to circle all the way around to the side of your body. Yeah, okay, and again I'll do it from this angle so you can see. So I stamp and then circle. You're going all the way behind you, yeah, up above your head and then down by your side. Yeah, so if I'm doing it directly towards you, I'm going to go backwards. I'm going to go back behind me and then in front, okay. So now my weight distribution is all on my back leg. Yeah, so my pointing foot, there's no weight on the front foot. So I'm gonna circle all the way around. Okay, when I get to this part, I'm going to raise up my right knee and I'm gonna punch up into the sky. Yeah, so I do this again, so from here. So circle round, raise up my right knee and punch up into the sky, yeah, so up above my head. Okay, so then again, let me show you. So from here, babe, then one, that's the big circle, and then two, tishi, your knee up, 
punch up into the sky. Yeah, and you need to, you need to actually look up at the sink. We are, your expression will be you're gonna follow your left hand and then you're gonna punch up into the sky. You're gonna look up as you punch up. Okay, so let's just try that a couple of times. So from here, so you may go one, two. Okay, and then again from here, you may one, two. Yeah, so your knee is up and your fist is punching up into the sky. This is all your right on your right side. Okay, the next action is from this position, you're gonna bring your feet together. Yeah, so this movement here from knee up, you're gonna bring your feet together and squat yourself down. So this is Tishi to Bingbu, your feet together. Yeah, so from here, Bingbu. It's like a stamping, like stamp. Yeah, from here, stamp. Okay, as you bring your foot down on the floor, your hand, your left palm is gonna come out in front of you and the hand that's punching up above your head, you're gonna hit on the back fist. You know, the movement, <clears throat> the movement we did earlier, this movement, yeah, remember we did this earlier. You're gonna bring your hand and your fist together at the same time as you stamp. Yeah, so from here, you're gonna go stamp. Yeah, okay, you're shaping this position again. So you've gone round, you punched up, and stamp. So when you do this movement, try not to bring your hands too close to your body. So try not to bring your hands here. You need to round your arms, yeah? And your fist needs to be uh, in a proper fist position. And this like in a jung, and the back fist needs to be against the, your palm. You need to be hitting down with your palm, yeah? So we can try that again. So from here, we start from the beginning again. So, so DM boop. So your left hand circles all the way around. You look backwards, above your head, comes to the side of your body. And then from here, transfer your weight forward onto your left leg, raise your knee, and then punch up to the sky. Then from here, you're gonna za chuan. So you're gonna smash down with your back of your hand on your palm, and at the same time, bing boom. Yeah? <coughs> okay, so let's practice that movement together. <clears throat> Yvette, go one, two, and again. <coughs> One, two, and again, Za Chuan. One, two. Okay, good. Okay, so this this part is the first part in your in your sequence movement. Okay, the second part um, is called Sai Jiao Two. Two Sai Jiao and one Er Qi Jiao, which is a jumping kick. So two hit your hand on your feet and then one jump and hit your foot. Like a flying, a flying kick. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you the preparation for this movement. So the first thing you need to learn is how to do a Tan Tui. So a Tan Tui is a flick kick. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So from here, you're gonna prepare. You're gonna raise your knee up and you're gonna flick out in front of you and bring your knee back. Then step forward, raise your knee up, flick, and then back. And then again, knee up, flick, back. One more time, knee up, flick, back. Yeah, so this is like your fundamental practice that you should be practicing every day. So this is called just called a tantwe or a flick kick. Okay, so let's practice that again. Uh, I'm going to stand over here and we can do it five times uh, going in this direction. Okay, tan tui. So you may go one. So for this one, make sure your toes pointed. Yeah, and step forward. Two. You see my toes pointed down, not up. Yeah. Three. Four. And five. And stop. 
So some key tips, try to get your knee high as you can. Yeah, make sure you really fully extend your leg out so it's completely horizontal. Yes, yeah, so you don't want to be like this, at this angle sort of going down to the floor. Um, you need to make sure that it's the same level as your hip. Yeah, so your leg is like completely horizontal out. And then make sure that you point your toe. So from here, don't do this. So this, this is a different movement. This is like called a jong dun tui, front push. It's a different movement. So this one, you have to remember, is a flick kick. So your toe is pointed, then you'd extend your foot and then down again. Okay, good. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a tan tui, but we're gonna slap our foot. Yeah, so it looks like this. So from here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna slap my hand on the top of my foot. So when you're slapping your hand, your palm needs to be flat, your toe needs to be flat, you need to reach forward and try and slap forward. That's when you're stretching on the floor and you're reaching over to your feet, you know if you can reach your feet or not, yeah, you'll be able to touch your feet. Just remember your toe is pointed, you're really slapping the top of your foot, okay? So for this movement, you're gonna prepare exactly the same way. You're gonna raise your knee up, if I do it slowly, you raise your knee up, yeah, you're gonna turn your, your fist over at the last moment, you're gonna twist your palm out like this, yeah? And at the same time, as you twisting your palm over, you're gonna flick your hand on the top of your foot. Yeah, your foot on the, flick your foot up towards your hand, yeah? So we just do that again, so here you eight. So knee up, and then hand out and touch, and then you're gonna bring your hand back to your waist and then step forward again and then knee up and then turn your palm over flick and then back to your waist this is doing a super slow yeah so here yeah, knee up turn your palm over flick and then back to your waist and one more time really slow again it's last time knee up turn your palm over flick turn it into a fist and then back to your waist. And then you're finished. Yeah. This is really slow. So when we do it fast, it will look like ah, ah, ah. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna slap really hard on your foot and then bring it back to your waist. This is called a tan tui, okay? So let's practice this movement together. We'll practice five times and then we'll move on to our next movement, our last movement after this. Okay, right, ready? for our jumping, for our kicking movements. Okay, so from here, tan twig, you bait. So you flip kick five times. So one, two, try to leave your, try to leave your knee up each time. Yeah, lift your knee up, don't put it down yet. Okay, three, four, five. And stop. Yeah. Okay, good. So this is our tan tui movement. Okay, moving on to our next movement. So the next movement I want you to learn is something you're gonna combine a jumping with your uh, tan tui. So each time you do this movement, you're developing the movement. Yeah, you're making it harder and harder each time and developing your skill. So this movement, this movement looks like this. This is called a so from here, I'll just show you this way. Yeah, so this movement's called a, a jumping fly, flying kick. Yeah, jumping flying kick, like R chi jiao. So, and you're gonna hit your hand on your foot. So the same principle applies. So when we learn this one, you're gonna stand with your right foot pointing forward. Um, and then you're gonna step, I'm gonna show you how to do the movement now. So you're gonna step onto that foot, yeah? And then you're gonna raise up your left leg. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump like this, like jump onto your left foot and then do your side jowl. Yeah, let's just try that again. This is super slow, yeah? Okay, so from here, point your right foot. So you're gonna step on your right, bring your left knee up, yeah, and then bend your knee, get ready to jump. So you're gonna jump 
hit your hand on your foot. Yeah. Okay, let's try again, I'll face you. So from here, you bay. So step forward, bend your knee. You don't need to jump very high, you just need to change your feet. So like change from, from one to the other. Yeah, so from your left foot, change to your right. You don't even need to jump that much. Yeah, so you can just like change. Yeah, from here, change. Yeah, and then the better you get at changing, you can then start to jump a little bit. So from here, you can be like, okay, so I'm gonna step, like jump, kick. Yeah, so you're stepping onto that foot, swing your knee up, swing your knee up, and then jump hip, yeah? So you're going from just like here to changing, and then going into a bit more of a jump, like jump, yeah, and then jump a bit higher, ah, yeah? Okay, good. So once you get really good at doing this arachi gel, then you can start to put your hands with it at the same time, yeah? So from here, your hands, as you raise up your left knee, yeah, your hands come up above your head like this. Yeah, you slap above your head, called a ji jang, above your head. Yeah, so you jump up, your hands slap. Yeah, so you step on that foot here, step, left hand up, right hand up, jump. Yeah, so it'll be like, bum. Yeah, I did again, do it from a diagonal so you can see a bit better. So from here, step, hit, this all happens at the same time, and jump. Yep. Then as you do your archy jowl, yeah, as you do your archy jowl, the left hand will come to your waist, and you'll hit your hand on your foot, and then the other hand comes to your side. So when you're first learning this movement, you probably won't know what to do with your hands. Your hands will probably be everywhere, but that's okay, that's okay. But the more advanced you get, if you want to get more detail on the movement and more specific, then you can start to think about where your hands are, yeah? So from here, your hands go but, but, back to your waist, yeah? So up, here, back on your waist. So if you speed it up, it will look like but, yeah? So you go, and it's like three sounds like bah, bah, two sounds, sorry. Da, da, da. Yeah, da, da, da. Yeah, so you can hear it, you can hear the sound yourself. Like from here, like, you go ba ba, like this, yeah? And then you leave your knee up. Okay? So let's practice that archie jar together. Let's do it, let's say, let's do it three times because this video, you can just literally pause it and then you can practice it as many times as you like, okay? But for now, we'll just practice together three times. Okay, ready? So from here, DM boot. Okay, so Archie Jal. Go one. Yeah, good. See if when you do it, when you finish, see if you can land with your knee up. Yeah, this is just one tip. Yeah, so from here, see if you can jump like, jump, leave your knee up. Yeah, try not to put it down on the floor. This is just so you can control your body movement. And then I show you one more tip after that, okay? So one more. Okay, and go. Yeah, very good. Okay, another great way to practice Archie Jal um, is to do it from a uh, standing leg like this. Yeah, so when you practice Archie Jal at the beginning, you'll wanna pull your leg up to get you height. But essentially, you can do more by leaving your leg up. So from here, you can just from this leg, here, and then try Archie Jal. Yeah, so you can do it from so just from a T-shi position. Yeah, from here, then. So this is a little bit harder because you don't have that, whoa, you don't have the momentum to lift your body up. You have to just use your foot and your leg to generate the power, yeah? So from here, don't drop your knee, knee up, then. Up. Yeah, so you have to use your foot to get the power. This is just like a little bit of extra practice that you can do for yourselves. Okay, good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the movements together. So we're gonna put the za chuan, the za chuan here, but with our side jiao, two side jiao, 
leave our knee up, and then we're gonna jump kick. Yeah? So this is just combining the movements that you've already learned. You're combining them together into this routine. Okay? So we're gonna start from a DM boot position. So just stand with your feet together, hands down by your side. You're gonna stamp your right foot, bring your hands back to your waist. Okay, so number one, we do Za Chuan. So slowly, circle your hand round. Knee up, punch into the sky. Then feet together, bing boom, Za Chuan. From this position, you're gonna bring your hands back to your waist. Yeah, step back and point your left foot forward. Yeah, okay, one more time. So at your bay. This is starting with your left foot pointing forward. So Za Chuan. Up. Okay. When your left leg is pointing forward, all you need to do next is two side jow. Yep, so you've done the side jow before, so one, two. Okay, after you've done that last side jow, you're gonna leave your knee up. That's why we're practicing that earlier. Okay, then from here, you're gonna do a jumping kick, arachi jow. So, jump kick, leave your knee up. Okay, got it? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you have, yeah. Okay, so let's try again. A little bit faster this time. So, you okay. Go, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so you have one Sai Jiao, one Za Chuan, sorry, one Za Chuan. Step back, two Sai Jiao, one Er Chi Jiao. Okay, great, okay, awesome, let's practice again. Okay, so from here, so you bang it. Go, one, down, step back, two, side jow, one, two, jump kick, go. Good, hopefully you've, you've got, that, got that movement. I think that we should just practice again one more time, and each time you practice it, you can, you can just get the movement a little bit faster. Yeah, so when we're teaching you at the beginning, we're teaching you very slowly, you know, step by step, making sure that you definitely know the accuracy of where you put in your body. And obviously when you speed it up, you want to go, Wah! you want to go as fast as you can, like, bah, bah, and it, yeah, you want to go much, much faster. Um, that, that will just take time and just lots of, lots and lots of practice. Okay, so um, the last part of this section um, is quite simple. Um, but it just takes some coordination with your hands. So the last section is after you've done your Archie jump, you've jump kicked, yeah? The next section looks like this. So, whee! Yeah. So you can see you have this you have like these kind of like Tai Chi hands. Yeah, it's like a, called a Nguyen Chow. Yeah, you have like a, uh, a Tai Chi hand before you're kind of grabbing and then going into your Jada. This last movement is called a Mabu. So you've got your Mabu stance and then a Jada position. Yeah, like a double blocking position. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how to do that last movement. So for this last movement, I just want you to Put your left hand facing up and your right hand facing down. Yeah, so your left hand is up and your right hand is facing down. Yeah, and then from here, I just want you to move your waist. Yeah, so your, your hands are moving, your waist is moving. And then you're gonna change, you're gonna lift up your uh, right hand and drop your left hand. Yeah, and then I want you to use your waist to turn your body to the other side. Yeah, and then you're gonna lift up your left hand and drop your right hand. Yeah, so turn your waist, then lift up right hand, drop left, turn your waist, and lift up your left hand, and drop your right hand, okay. So then you should be able to just kind of move, move this move, this, um, try to generate this, this kind of movement. Yeah, so you're kind of moving your body. So your body's moving like this, your waist is moving, and this is kind of what's moving your arms. Yeah, 
and your arms like lifting up and then changing. Yeah, this is a bit, in um, uh, Tai Chi, this is called cloudy, cloudy hands, yeah, or Nguyen Shou, cloudy hands. So you have this cloudy hands, this movement, you have this movement at the end of this section, which is really cool, because it means you guys get to do some Tai Chi as well at the same time, which is brilliant. Okay, so the last movement, side jiao. So from here, you're going to stamp your foot. So all your feet do are this, like, ba, ma, bu. Yeah? So your feet from here, your knee is up, stamp, raise your left leg, and then sit down into mabu, like a mabu position. Mabu is this horse riding stance. Now at the same time as doing that, same time as you're doing that, you've hit on your foot, jump kicked. So at the same time, that left hand is gonna come across and the right hand goes down. Yeah, so you can see, like here. Yeah, then you're gonna change. Then you're gonna grab and then from this position, you're going to pull over to the left hand side of your body. So your elbow is kind of like a bent shape. It's not straight like this, it's kind of bent up by your knee, like a fist width between your knee and your, uh, your fist in your hand. And the other one is above your head. Yeah, this is kind of like a couple of fist widths above your head, yeah? So protecting your head and your body. Yeah, so you've got this kind of movement. If we were to carry on the movement, it would look like that, like da, 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 grab, pull, yeah? <laughs> so do it from this angle so you can see like, if we're doing Tai Chi, like this way, this way, grab, and pull, you know? And at the same time, you can finish with a good shout, yeah? To try and generate some power in your body. So, Let's just go back a second. So let's just combine those two movements together. So you've got Ar Chi Jiao, that's the jump kick. Then from here, Jin Jiao. Yeah. Turn your body, lift up your palm, and then twist to the side. So you're in this, this position, yeah? Yeah, so your upper body, your hand is above your head, blocking, and this hand is blocking your body as well at the same time. You can imagine your Pull, pull to one side of your body, okay. Good, so these are the fundamentals for this last square basic nine. So you have side jiao, you have za chuen, two side jiao, one er chi jiao, with a jin jiao stamping and a marbu jada, okay? So let's, uh, let's practice and try and combine these movements together. As I said, I'm gonna try and do it slowly for you and we work through it step by step and then we'll do it faster and faster. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. So this is the whole set from start to finish, practicing slowly. Okay, so stand straight. Okay, dian bu, yu bei, begin. So this is dian bu, pointing step. Okay, then from here you're gonna turn your body. Za chuan, punch up. Bing bu, this is a bing bu za chuan. Then step back, hands by your waist. Yeah, pointing your left foot. Two side jiao. So one, step forward, two, leave your knee up, and then from here, you're gonna jump kick. Ar chi jiao, go. Yeah, then from here, you're gonna jin jiao. So you're gonna stamp, your hands go out like one, two. Yeah. So your hands are kind of do this cloudy hands and then finish in a marble jada. Okay, let's do this again. A little bit faster this time. Okay, ready? You bay? One, all the way through. Like up, down. Okay, two, three, two side jiao. One, two, archi jiao. Go, jin jiao. Hui! Okay, so you can just finish your movement like this, just to give it a nice finish at the end for when you're practicing this basic. Okay, let's try again. I'm gonna face this direction so you get to see it from a different angle. Okay, ready? So let's practice together. So from here, you bet. One, 
two, three, four, five, quick, and stop. So maybe we should just do it one more time, just to make sure that we've definitely got that movement. If you already know this movement, then you can try to work on the flowing. So you want to work on the flowing, the accuracy, the timing, the speed, some parts really fast, and then some parts really slow. Yeah, so you're going to work with your speed and your timing, making sure you're looking in the right direction, like looking up, here, here, you know, make sure you've got your expression right as well. Okay, so let's just try this one again. So from here, bit, one, two, three, four, five, whee, finish. Okay, good. So this is your last, your very last square basic. So this is Zha Chuan, two side jiao, one ochi jiao. Finish off with a Mabu Jada. Okay, I hope you guys can remember that. Remember, you can always keep rewinding this video for you guys to practice. If you've got any questions, you can just send me a message. I get all your messages. So it's really great to hear from you guys and hear how you're getting on, how you're enjoying the classes. You know, if you need any help or anything, we're always there to answer your questions. So please do send us some, some messages. It'd be great to hear from you. Okay, so for now, we're gonna finish off by doing a small warm down. So just relax your legs. Okay, and I want you just to relax your hands and your body like this. It's kind of like a little bit of qigong to finish off with. Okay, and then hitting the top of your body like this. Okay, very good. Okay, so to finish with, we're gonna take three deep breaths. So just make sure when you're standing you're fully standing with your feet fully flat on the floor, bend your knees, try to relax down through the ground, through your feet. And when we do the breathing, I'm just gonna guide you through the breathing. So you're gonna turn your hands over like this. This is as you breathe in, you're gonna bring your hands, up, raise your hands up. When you get to the top, you're gonna to hold your breath. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna breathe out through your mouth, like breathe in through your nose, hold your breath and then you're gonna breathe out through your mouth like And your visualization is really important. So your visualization is called your yi or your mind intention. So your intention is you're gonna breathe in pure revitalizing energy. You're gonna imagine it in your mind's eye, bring it up. You're gonna imagine it going through the top of your head and as you breathe out, you're gonna imagine it going pushing down all the way down through your body and storing in your tummy. Yeah, so right, below your belly button, right in your, what they call the dantian, yeah? So you're gonna breathe in, in through your nose, look up, hold your breath, then breathe out. Imagine you're bringing all that amazing energy into your body, storing it in your tummy, ah, and then relax, and then doing it again, repeating it over and over again, okay? So let's practice this together. So relax, really important that you relax when you do this. Okay, so. We're going to breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. Again, breathe in. Hold. And breathe out. Last time, breathe in. Try to get as much air in as you can, hold your breath and breathe out. And relax. Okay, you can finish by putting your hands on your tummy. Just close your eyes. Relax your body, calm down your mind. Try to feel inside your body. Maybe you can feel your energy. Maybe you can feel heat. Just try to relax.
Okay, good. Okay, and just slowly open your eyes and relax your body. Okay, great. So guys, I hope you enjoyed, um, enjoyed these sessions. Remember, we've got one more set, so I'm gonna teach you in the next, the last one, is how to do this movement on the opposite side, because you have to do it on both sides, on the opposite side, and also how to move it around in a, in a square. So this will be our last, our, our next task. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself today, and we'll see you in our next class. Okay, shaka, class finish.